What up? What's up guys? It's Bishop here with a new video for uh, post-op, post-op surgery. Uh, we're sitting at about two to two, three weeks post-op on my ACL reconstruction um, as well as my meniscus shredding that took place. Um, <clears throat> to be honest with you guys, it's, it's been a, a unique journey. I, I've already been back to work, uh, so I transitioned into half days and then full days. Always trying to keep my leg elevated at work at all times. I just recently, so this is three weeks post-op, I just recently am down to one crutch now. So I was doing two crutches initially with my foot not touching the ground for the first week and then my foot walking with my foot for like that second week. And then now, as a, I'm only one day, one day with one crutch. So progression's going really, really good. I'm doing my stem machine, my EMS stem machine at home. Um, I'm, I'm doing crunches in the bed and um, I'm, I'm probably doing more than I should, right? So like walking around my house, should I have a crutch? Yes. Do I? No, I don't because I'm, 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 I'm stronger. I, I, and this is dumb. Like, don't do this. Don't repeat this. You're listening to me. Next video I make, I'm going to tell you that I probably tore it again, but I feel like I can just walk to the kitchen and get water now without having a crutch or any assistance. Like I, I know my body. I know how strong. Yeah. How strong, no, my quads are, like, I'm all right. You know what I mean? I'm all right. Um, I don't even think I needed two crutches as long as I did, but that's neither here nor there. But swelling, still pretty swollen. Uh, when I went back to the doctor uh, one or two weeks post-op, you know, she said, swelling's, you know, still a little big. Keep taking the ibuprofen, keep icing, keep elevating. Um, and she said my quad was a three out of five, but... Apparently she had never seen this much muscle before, so I let that pass. But I'm, you know, I'm I'm doing what I can at work. We have a little exercise bike. On my lunch breaks, I'm down there for 25 minutes. I'm doing the bike. So it was a big mental thing just to get to the bike. Oh, like before, I could only pedal a little bit, pedal back a little bit, pedal a little bit. Once, like a week and a half post op. Once I got all the way around, son. Oh, I mean, I'm killing it. I feel like I'm killing it. I feel like I'm... Could I do more? Yes. Have I become lackadaisical on the weekends? Sure. Um, at night, after long days of work, it's pretty swollen. I'm, I'm not really up for doing anything, but it's the work that you put in when you don't feel like doing anything. Um, that's what sets you apart. That's what makes you different. That's what gets you back sooner than anybody out there uh, could even predict. Like, I'm gonna prove, oh my, mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna prove so many people wrong. Like, and I, and I, I'm, I might even be a little simple saying that. Like, I'm just being serious. Like, I know when people are talking about sports and stuff, cause I got, I, you know, I got a decent amount of like, you know, close friends or whatever that play different sports. So they're always like, Oh yeah, Bish he he ain't gonna be back like probably another year or two. Another year or two? Son! I might be back before the end of the season. Now that's far fetched. I get it. But seriously, my basketball league, March twenty second, I believe it was, Tuesday evening, when this injury happened, I had the jersey in my hand. I looked at one of the guys and I said, Hey, do you just want this back? Yeah, it cost me money. Give it, to, you know, give it to someone else so someone else could play. He looked at me. He said, "You'll be back next year," and I firmly believe that I'll be back next year, and I'll be back before that. But that'll be the last time that I actually step out on a court. So, um, looking forward to that. But it's always keeping that future, having a goal in mind, not becoming self pity, not becoming all poor me. Don't have that Eeyore mentality. My bending, uh, PT said I'm bending to 120, uh, which is great. The bike has helped a lot with that. Um, like I said, just work on your quads. Elevate ice. If you're in this situation two to three weeks post-op, uh, just continue with the PT drills. Do your leg raises. Do your stretches. Do your calf raises. Um, you know, just consistently. I'm going to PT uh, two days a week. Um, actually, the past this last week and this week will only be one day, but just consistency. Don't like y'all. I want to encourage y'all. Like, don't just assume 
things are going to go back to normal. Because I think that's very easy to do. And what I mean by that is to say, oh, well, I just had surgery, so, yeah, can't really do much. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm doing more now, post-surgery, than I was, like, before the injury, like, from a workout standpoint. Because I'm like, mentally, I'm like, yo, I cannot let this take me. I can't let it control me. So what am I going to do? I'm going to be on that bike. What am I going to do? I'm going to be doing calf raises. Oh, I take an elevator from the first to the second floor at work. During the 10 seconds that that door closes and I'm going up, there's 10 calf raises done at that point. On my lunch break, am I going out? Am I eating all this junk food? No. I, I can't. You just that, that will mentally kill you. It will mentally kill you. If you're not talking to people, it will mentally kill you. If, you, if you're having that self-pity and, and not doing anything about it, you've got to be strong. You've got to do something. You've got to put in work. That's what I'm doing. So, as you can see my little bin there, huh? What you know about that? What you know about it, huh? What what, what you know about it? What, what, what you know about it? I mean, it's, it's a little painful at that point. Um, but still a good bin. I just, I just kind of woke up, so I'm a little tired, but... So it's really not even loose, but a little bend. Um, but yeah, man, that that's all I have. Um, what have I been doing since you know post op two, two, two and a half weeks? Same thing I was doing before, trying to eat good, uh, doing the PT drills at home a couple times a day, uh, keeping a positive attitude, keeping the faith uh, in the word, knowing that there was a reason for this, not letting this uh, define me, but defining what the injury is moving forward, uh, trying to be as social as I can. Even when I don't feel like going out to support indoor soccer team, support softball team, I'm going out. I'm supporting those guys. I'm doing the book for softball. I'm cheering on the soccer team, even though they're not very good. Like, but it's 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 going out, and so all of a sudden, transitioning back to normal isn't that big of a transition. It's not like oh, the field's still here. Oh, look, they put up a fence. Oh no, I was here when they built that fence. I was here when the field still looked good, and when they cut it last week. And two weeks ago, I was, and three weeks ago, I was. It's the consistency that will help me, and I'm sure it will help you to transition back in. So it's not such a shock, like, man, uh, I'm back. Like I, no, I, I've been here. I've been. I've just been on the sideline, but I've been here. I've, I've, I've smelt that dirt. You know, I've smelt that air. I know when the rain was gonna come, and we only have 15 more minutes to finish that inning. I, 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 that, that dirt that Steven got when he came in from his home run across home plate and I was right there, that came up at me. I was, I was there. Now I'm just on this side of the fence now. So what's up? Let's do it. So love you guys. Thanks for watching. Be encouraged. Stay humble. And I might be making some ACL strong wristbands. So if you're interested, hit me up. Love you guys. Thanks for watching.